Welcome everybody, episode 19 of Playing With Perspective, the Suspended Animation Podcast. Wow, episode 19, I can't believe it. Today we have an amazing guest, her name is Bron Wilson. Well, be- Watson. Bron, sorry, Bron Watson, what am I doing? <laughs> Already a typo, anyway, let's, we'll leave that in. Bron Watson, where did I get Wilson from? I have no idea. <laughs> And the topic of today is do you? Yes. Now, who is Bron Watson? Well, Bron- that's a good question. Yeah. Okay. A little, I'll, I'll give a little intro into you, Bron, and then I'll, I'll hand it over to you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. So Bron is a business owner and entrepreneur for almost 10 years. She has provided education, support, and inspiration to thousands of entrepreneurs through personal mentoring and online programs so that they too can be successful and achieve their dreams with a focus on five main areas, lead generation, lead nurture, sales and conversion, delivery, referrals, upselling and ongoing relationships. Bron is also honored to be the managing director of eWomen Network Australia, the first country outside North America to launch the network Following a diagnosis of breast cancer and now thriving in business and life, Bron realizes more than ever the importance of nailing your ideal customer with the right message at the right time to the right people, the ones that matter. And even more so using organic social media to do the work. So we're going to be talking about some fascinating stuff and I love that. The right message at the right time to the right people. So Bron, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for right. asking. Very, very good. And maybe I thought before we get started and do some Q&A, because we've got some really great information to cover that's going to help everybody in this time with their marketing. We're going to give loads of free um, marketing strategies and tips that they can implement yep. right now at cost yep. zero. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, tell us a bit about you. Okay, well, I live in Port Macquarie and have done for 15 years. I have a beautiful husband, Paul. We've been married for 23 years. Wow, fantastic. And we have five amazing sons. So we have Josh, Ben, Sam, Tom, and Ollie. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's a busy house, which is, that's what I'm saying. If you hear noises, don't worry, it's because we're homeschooling yeah. uh, and one, one's home from university. So Beautiful. it's been an incredible ride. Um, my background is actually nursing. So I'm a nurse educator in my previous life, um, but I had a dual career. I, I actually had my very first marketing job with Ticketek uh-huh. in Sydney City, which was wonderful. I loved it. So that yeah. was back in 1995, just don't tell anyone. But you know, <laughs> so I've been in the game for a long time and I've seen a lot change. So uh, to me, I love local supporting locals. And I just think with the technology now, you can have a local in Denver. You know, you don't have to have Absolutely. a local living in Port Macquarie. And I think it's more around the the care factor, which is, you know, how can I help? So we're not coming here, hey, let me sell me, uh, let me sell crap. No, it's like, well, how can I help? And I really do believe in connection, collaboration, and the money will flow both I ways. It. Perfect. Love it. That's who I am. value as you can. Totally. Help people, build relationships, and things will open up. It does. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah. so now you run your own um, business and you're helping yeah. all sorts of businesses with their marketing and their strategies and digital and content and all that kind of stuff. Correct, yeah. Look, I started in 2011. I started my very first business called Nurse Power. Wow. And I had some incredible mentors to get that off the ground because obviously, you know, people don't leave nursing. Yeah. And it was pretty exciting. And then in 2013, I was asked, how? How do you leave nursing? And, I, and that's where I sort of fell into becoming a mentor to other business owners on how to, because I had built online programs and communities internationally. And so they said, how did you do this stuff? And that's where it all started. And then during the diagnosis of breast cancer, I realized that I had built a beast of a business. It was very successful, but it was a beast for me personally. And uh, it nearly killed me. And yeah, I was delivering a Facebook live four hours after my third chemotherapy. I was so, so sick. And I realized at that time, I went, you know what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then it was that at that moment where I went, you know what? It's just do your thing. So I 
changed radically what I was doing. I delivered things differently. And now I have a beautiful team and we call ourselves Bron and Co. Co stands for collaboration. Yeah, so I collaborate I with people. Our social, I have a social media manager who is amazing. She does things that I can't. I have a creative director who does all of the creative stuff because I can't. <laughs> and we have someone in sales. So it's a completely different business model, still doing what we do, but we're delivering in a way that is right for me. So all I do is I stay in my lane and that was my lesson was that we build these things and we, we work so hard and then you realize, holy crap, what have I done? And um, it's about real and working, how to work out, how to, to work out your strength or your, yeah. you know, to stay in your lane. And I know I'm good at strategy. I'm not pulling things together and, and that's fun. I, I love it. And I think that's part of where I can bring benefit to businesses that, you know, I was talking to an accountant this morning, a bookkeeper, and man, my numbers are not my thing. Whereas I'm going, hey, <laughs> yin and yang. So, and but it's we're still talking in that same language. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting, it's awesome. a very interesting time right now in, in in the business world. It is. It's a very interesting time right now, and but I think that this, um, what we're going to discover and discuss today, is really going to help a lot of people that might be thinking, oh. Everything's just changed. What do I do? How do I do it? So this, we're going to give you some great tips and insights for how to start implementing these things. And also think about the strategy behind yes. what you're doing, which kind of leads Absolutely. me to my first question that I want to kind of get into. It's your catchphrase, the importance yes. of nailing your ideal customer with the right message at the right time to the right people. So tell us more about that. What that comes down to is, you know, if, you, if, if you've been in marketing or if you've been online, everyone talks about your avatar or your ideal client or your custom audience, whatever that's going yeah. to be. And you might think you know that person, but if you're thinking of it from whatever you do, so say from your product or your service. So if I'm thinking of it from a, you know, I'm looking for people who want to know more about marketing and social media. If I present myself as my product or my service there's no connection right but if I present myself as Bron who who loves life and loves the beach and loves coffee <laughs> and and a dog because I love my dog it's like cool people connect so humans connect to, to humans so that's the right me that's the right message because you're getting it to the right meaning and you know in America or, you know, across the world, they say, you know, the riches are in the niches or we call it niche, but you know, niches, if you want to put it in the U S style yep. and it couldn't be more truer, but it's like going, cool, just talk to the person who's in your lane, who loves dogs and loves hiking just because yes. you do, because they'll connect with you and they have the same values and beliefs. So, and it's the sweet spot between, you know, who, what you do and who they are and who you are. And it's a little spot in the middle and it's Perfect. tiny. That's the right message. And, Sometimes it, it might not be that the marketing is wrong. It's just at the wrong time. Yep, that's true. You know what I mean? So it's like this triple thing, the trifecta. Yep. And it could be that the message might be off, but your marketing's okay. So it could be that the message is on, but you're not giving it to the right person because yep. they're not going to hear it. Like the way you, you and I both know you're in marketing too, right? You can't market to a 25-year-old the way you market to me. Yeah, absolutely. Not. Different values, different things, different life experiences. So yeah. the right message to the right people at the right time is getting it together. And it's just such a small space, but knowing that it's safe in this space yeah, yeah. rather than, you know, spraying it to the world, spraying, spraying. Gotcha. which is the old fashioned way of doing marketing. So back in the nineties, that's what we did. We yeah. sprayed it and people came and they bought it. Whereas that yeah. has gone. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm really passionate that, that people present themselves who they are. Yeah. Perfect. You know, does that, does that make sense? Yeah, that's perfect. And actually, let's go further than that. Let's say that after you've identified who your target market is, what your message is, you've worked on your marketing strategy, let's say that people, other opportunities might come to you that weren't exactly what you thought or what you were looking for but they might be quite viable opportunities. What do you do? Do you take them or do you say, no, I'm going to refer you to somebody yeah. else? It's a good question. It's a really good question because a lot of the times when you're in that space, you become the opportunity. Hmm. Uh, what I do believe online, um, in social media, media, right? We, we're all participants. 
All right. You can either be a participant who is active, which means you're playing the game, yep. or you can be a participant where there's people who are, who are more shy and they're more reserved and they hold back. And the lurkers or the, the ghosts, as I call them, right? The ghosts, right? <laughs> so you can either be um, a ghost yep. or you can be the strategist who's on there with intention. So when it comes to opportunity, I have opportunity come. The way I see it is, and this is Bron's take on it, guys, just take it into perspective, is if we're talking to the same idol client. So, for example, I've had a couple of opportunities still coming to me now uh, one's an actual product, which I love, but it's to the same idle client, which means I'm a real believer that at, traditionally businesses are like silos. You like, you line them up, you literally walk down the main street and we're all siloed there, right? Yep. It's like get rid of the silos and start collaborating. Not necessarily a JV, which is very legal, yes. but there's other ways to do business where we all win. And so when it comes to opportunity, you've got to examine the opportunity and to make sure that it's, if you're the opportunity, what's, how, where's the win-win? Because obviously time is money and you've got to have a return on investment for that time and money gotcha. uh, and, and not give it away for free. When I say that giving it away for free, what I'm saying is don't sacrifice yourself in exchange for helping someone else. It's got to be standing true to who you are to then go, cool, does this fit with me? Does it fit with the alignment? Does it fit with the ideal client? And I go, yes, cool. So I'm actually having a conversation with someone today around this okay. product, which okay. talks to my same ideal client. Does that, is that what you were asking? Yeah. So, so I suppose that you, you can almost say that your ideal client, the concept of your ideal client is also quite fluid. Very. It's an evolution over time as you get to know uh, that person or that avatar because, mm -hmm. Uh, for example, it could be, to me, it's like we're creating the awareness for someone to be aware. I say this a lot, which is that but they've got to be in a position to want to be aware yeah. versus, you know, like I, I've been to plenty of networking events and I can I call them the non-believers, which is those who just don't believe and they'll stick to their referral-based business. Fantastic. I respect that. Yeah. But if I, if, I, if I have to convince somebody of something, no. It's not a fit. Okay. okay, perfect. I love it. I love it. And that's where, that's where marketing comes in because you've almost yes. identified and um, built your brand before you even get to have those conversations. Exactly. And, and that's where um, I believe branding, and that's one thing that you do, is absolutely essential. And it doesn't mean, you know, being the Insta-perfect photo on the Insta-perfect location if that's your thing, that's great. But if it's not, put your feet. Like I went to a, a recent networking event and I wore odd shoes. <laughs> I took a photo of On it. Purpose? A, no. <laughs> I didn't know until I got out of the car. And I'm going, oh. <laughs> right? I'm going, oh, dear God, this is just like horrific. But thankfully they were the same height. So at least it wasn't wobbling. And But I took a photo of it and I shared it. Why? Because it's real. Absolutely. And then the comment, like the dozens. It. And dozens of comments of, oh, my God, I've done that too, Bron. Because <laughs> awesome. that's like, you're real. That's the real person you're doing human, the real thing. Not just and that's, perfect. I'm a human and you're going to connect because we're humans. And to me, that's where branding comes in is that you know that brand and, and you're okay. And there are, you're not meant to resonate with everyone. Absolutely. I, I love that. And I'm so passionate about that. And as yes. you say, you know, things have changed over the years. 10, 20 years ago, Brand, what was considered brand is very different to what we call brand now. Absolutely. Whole and other conversation. 100%. Another conversation because, you know, as a small business owners, we are our brand. Even if you've got a team, the CEO is part of the brand. Definitely. You can't hide from it. And I think for businesses who do hide behind a logo or hide behind stuff, it's not authentic because you're not connecting with a the person. They want to know, hey. What sort of coffee do you like? You're thinking, yeah. well, that's really boring and basic, but it's actually not because you're connecting as people. Absolutely. It's, you know, the brand is more than just your logo. It's about the experience and the feeling that people, uh, that elicits for people when they think of your logo or your brand. It's a whole, yep. uh, so much more than just, you know, a catchphrase or a, or a logo or something like that. Mm -hmm. but in, in, in congruence with branding, if we want to chat about, branding and, and social media. Now I know that you're really big on organic using organic I am. 
means for your social media marketing. So tell us more about that. And have you, have you played with paid advertising or? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I grew my entire business on Facebook. Oh, really? Facebook advertising. Okay. Absolutely. I've spent a lot of money on advertising. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've done banner ads. I've, you know, I've done lots of different things. So this is where I think as a marketer, yeah. marketing is a tool, but I'll just call myself a marketer for argument's sake, <laughs> that you've got to find the, the vehicle that's going to work for you. And, and when people say organic is dead, I absolutely disagree 100%. It's just mm -hmm. you're not playing the game right. And it's like... You're not going to get your silver bullet. What you do today in organic, and when I say organic, it's like putting a post onto your, your page. Like today, I'm going to take a photo of you and I having this conversation. I'm going to put some personal stuff around it, how it felt. Beautiful. And that post, it might not give me an ROI for three to four months. And because we're in a market, we're in a, in a world where, well, COVID-19 has called, uh, brought that unstuck, but really around that instant gratification, I want it now. I just want the easy method, Brian. Make it easy for me. I said, well, I'd love to make it easy. I can make it easy, but you're not going to get a result now. So this is where organic comes in. It's like, think of it like a foundation to a house. That organic social media and the positioning, that's right, it's the positioning of that yeah, yeah. is literally the framework to which you build your house on. So mm -hmm. you can build your house with networking. You can build your house with paid advertising. They work. They work brilliantly. But what I'm talking about is, you, you know, I've got people who have businesses well into six figures purely from group strategy, what I call group strategy, playing groups on yep. Facebook. Wow. Yep. Oh, just Facebook. You know? LinkedIn, just Facebook. Just Facebook. Wow. Same concept on LinkedIn. Yep. But it's like going cool. And it was under, I think it was about 18 months turnaround from zero to over six figures. Wow. I've, and, and, you know, and this was a market that was very narrow and very, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to sure. people to go and look, um, but it's, it's around, it was a very specific niche that would shock you. I'll tell you offline, but that's just one of them. Okay. And, and it, it, what I'm saying is that it's the consistency. Yep. Perfect. That's what the, the key to, to, to organic is consistency. Perfect. Let me just jump in with one thing because I want to explore this further, but before I do, yep. What response do you normally get from people when you say, this is not going to be an instant result. You're going to have to wait three, six, nine, 12 months. What, re what response is the average response? <laughs> oh, look, what they tell me and what they think are two yeah. different things. Right, okay. <laughs> if, if it was a client, they'll go, great, because I have this thing where I say, believe in the process and the process will look after you. Yeah. You just follow it. It's based on decades of experience, not just mine. Yeah. I've invested very heavily to learn this stuff too. And it's, or to those who are out there, they go, yeah, that's lovely, bro. You know? Oh, that's lovely. It's like, yeah, because they're non-believers. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Not for you. Sorry. It's for those, it's for those who want to build a long, who want longevity with their brand, longevity for their business. And, invest the time and I call it sweat economy meaning you sweat your cracker off and you don't get anything for it for a while but I can tell you you will Absolutely. but you got to do the work definitely too true and I totally agree with that like you got to do this stuff every day all day you got to be thinking about it dreaming about it and it becomes part of you and the journey the journey takes you to different areas as well you start off simple and then you get more complicated and more sophisticated mm. with your marketing mm. and your content and you're kind of starting to have fun with it. You have to have a relationship with it. And yep. it starts to build. Nothing happens in overnight just like that. It doesn't. And even with paid advertising, it's great. People look. We all know now it's like 79% or something where people will go and review or go and look and check mm -hmm. you out yeah. on social yeah. before they'll go to your website, if at all. Absolutely. So yeah. it's like when they find you there, be the real version of you, not this fake thing that you copied from someone else. Absolutely. You know? I almost say yeah. that people get too caught up with their website, whereas totally. if you really use social media to build your brand, half the time people won't even go to your website or need to go to your website. Or if they do, even if your website's not great, it makes no difference because they know so much about you and they trust you already. So that's right. That is nothing. It's just the, the last, it might even just be where they get the phone number from. That's right. And it, like, like, else is people, the that's, well, people are going to be, oh, you know, I've just been to your website. And I'm going, oh no. 
Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> That's great. I haven't updated it for a while yeah. because it's, it's my online address. It's yeah. really like if you want to find me, this is where you're going to find me. Yeah. But, you know, if you do a, a Google on Bron Watson, you'll see all the other platforms line yeah. up first. And, and what happens is from social proof, you want people to find you. You want people to see you. Like for me, 2020, I've, I've avoided video because of my own confidence on video. Like I'm being honest here. I really, yeah, I struggle. Fantastically well. you, you, you seem as I know, right? But, but I, I, I'm, I'm, girl, I'm fine. But it's, it's the, you know, you know, girls like you, Brian, blah, blah, blah. And these stories that go on. Yeah. I'm investing this year to learn how to, to do video right. so that it's part of, the story because loads of women don't want to be on video let me tell you so if i can demonstrate it and demonstrate because it's not easy i can demonstrate like you we're demonstrating right now definitely we are yeah yeah it can be done it's very simple um and i, I do to... believe i know someone in that space his name's darren saul <laughs> 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 but it's it, what i'm saying is there are times when you need to, when you want to, you know, shortcuts, not the right thing. Cause you've still got to do the work, but what happens is someone can take, you go Google social media marketing and like 50 gazillion hits come up, but then they can talk to someone like you or talk to someone like me. And we're going to go, cool. Just go and do these couple of things over here. Exactly. Don't worry about the rest. Just exactly. take the bits you need and That's leave right. the rest. Too true. And there's, I wanted to leave the audience with a lovely quote. There's a famous lady called Beverly Sills and she always says, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. And that just sums uh, up social media perfectly. Totally. You have to do the work. You but, have to do the work. But so let's get back into um, yes. organic now. I want to talk more about organic. So tell us more about the steps that people can really take and what, give them some strategies for what might be useful using organic social media. Okay. So as I, we were talking about before, it starts with who's your ideal customer? It's about thinking about it and the best way to know if it's an ideal customer, it's called speed to market, which means just go and take, take it to market and test it. See what happens. You know, and, and understand that if you've got 100 likes on your Facebook page or 100 followers on Insta, it's going to take a while for that message to get through. But if you stay to that, give it 90 days, give it a chance for that ideal customer. And there are analytics that you can see when your market's on. Yeah. So it's about providing value the way i i see it and i was listening to something yesterday is that as i mentioned the media is so huge who do you follow why do you follow them yeah. what are you listening to what are you watching and then you think take that step back and go cool if someone was to watch my youtube channel what do they want to see and then it's providing value you know in my space for example if you're wanting all the techie how-to stuff i'm not your girl <laughs> All right, if you want to 10 time your business in 30 days, I'm not your girl. But if you're wanting to talk about real things, doing people, real things, doing real things, hey, yep. chat all day. So yep. to me, for those, for people who are wondering where to start, you start with your ideal client, pull it out of, and it's like, how old are they? Remembering, as I said before, you can't market to a 25 year old. And an ideal client, the ideal client only is as it pertains to marketing. Yes. It's not, that's all you're going to get. You know, like to me, you, you got a rock and you throw that rock into a pond and that pond is still until you throw that rock in where you've hit, that's ideal client. But you think of all the ripples, well, they're all the different people you're going to, you're going to attract oh, I like that. who may not tick all your boxes. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. but if you stick to that person in the middle, you stick to, are they, are they married? Do they have kids? Yeah. How are they coping with COVID-19? All this sort of stuff. You are talk they, to them. Are they interstate? Are they international? Are they in Whatever. That's it. Like my market's international, you know, now that with E-Women Network, I'm even more in the US and, and, the, and Canada. But besides all of that, and you start talking to them and it's the consistency. So it could be that you're a, I don't know, you're a business coach yep. and you're dealing with HR. I'm just making that up. I just looked at you and I'm thinking HR, right? <laughs> but you love cats. Yep. So it could be that Tuesday, instead of doing a Tuesday tip, you're going to do a cat meme. <laughs> I don't know, find a cat thing, right? Because guess what's happening? You're going to find people who love HR, yep. who love cats, love cats. <laughs> and they want to connect with you. So it's, it's the delivery of what you think. So first of all, um, 
And I do believe that I'm a real believer that, you know, when you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Yeah. And that's what keeps you in your lane. I, um, I call them themes or content pillars. So once you know what you want to do and who you want to work with and all of that stuff, we then go into the themes or things that you're going to talk about. So it could be cats, believe it or not, could be a theme. Uh, um, but something is part of who you are and what you provide. So in my space, marketing is one of my pillars. Yeah. But it's marketing for real people. It's not going to be, as I said, 10 times your business in 30 days. Because yeah. unless you've got a list of 50,000, like the person who's teaching you. That's right. It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yep. I hate to say it. And I'm not putting a glass ceiling there. It's the brutal honesty of it. Yep. Online marketers are brilliant at what they do. It's called online marketing for a reason. <laughs> and online marketing is, is, um, is very low friction to do, but you have to be even more patient than traditional. Way marketing. more patient because you're paying a fully automated program. I'm not saying don't do it. What I'm saying is choose wisely. Yep. And all I can say is, for your 90 days, pick your ideal client. Pick what you want to do on each day. If you don't want to post every day, don't post every day, but be consistent. If Monday, Wednesday, Friday are your days, post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But talk human to human. The algorithm loves connection, which means I don't care about likes. Don't care about likes on your page. You can have 50,000 likes on your page and zero engagement. So engagement, for those who don't know, it's the comments and it's the shares. So when somebody comments, right, don't just put love harm. Yep. I, can't even, I can't even do it. You know, one of those, right? Or a thumb up. Yep. <laughs> if you and I are in a room, do you think that's what you do? No way. No, you're going to go. It would be considered rude. Ah! It would be considered rude. So why do you do it online? So what my next point is that now that you've got your ideal client sorted, and now you pick the days that you want to do and you've now got yourself some sort of content calendar, there's 50,000 out there, just choose one, but yep. stick to it. Then engage and engage means have conversation. Yep. So if I put a post out and I can have a hundred plus comments, I reply to every single one of them it can take me days, but I will reply to every single one, which means that I'm creating conversation. Like, you know, the other day I put something up with my bookshelf because I love books. I'm old. Yep. I love books. Look, I'm going all red. And so, and someone said to me, so what are you reading? Great conversation 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 yeah. and that's when the algorithm and and the quicker i call it uh, i got a little hack here i call it the ambassador strategy which mm -hmm. means right. we within our own businesses they're like our cheer squad so i call them our ambassadors so it could be that i'm putting out a specific offer a specific post on a week and i want my ambassadors to come and give it some love giving it love means like comment share is appropriate Definitely share, definitely comment. You get everyone to do that within the hour. The algorithm, doesn't matter where you live. They don't know that, but they do know that. But it's not important. What it does is they go, this post is interesting. I'm going to show it to more people, ah. which means that your reach, which is how many people it ended up on your news feed, increases. So if you start, you know, I'm happy to be an ambassador with you, Darren, because we complement each other. Absolutely. Even though you're in marketing and social media, guess what? We complement each other because you do see you've got your way, I've got mine. That's right. But we complement each other. And when I say compliment, that's that ambassador thing. When you when you get your people, get, I don't know, four, six, doesn't matter, you start and it's and it's not the same time every day. Yeah. Okay? It can't just go at ten o'clock, I'm gonna post. No. When are your people on? When do they value your time? And make it meaningful. So the one question is four words on every single post that I have in my mind when I'm typing. It's called, how can I help? Wow. Yep. That's it. How yep. can I help? With zero expectation in return. Perfect. Meaning right now I'm doing great. I'm fine. Next week I might not be, yep. but I'm still going to be okay because I know that I can continue nurturing. Like we were talking before we started, Darren, around businesses that have been shut down. Now is your time, people. Definitely. Get on board. Build your communities. Now is Hit more important than ever before. More important than ever before because you cannot do what I call spray marketing, which is one to many. Yes. You can do one to few because you've got your ideal client sorted. You've got your timings and the days you're going to post sorted. You've got your calendar sorted. You're going to get some people to help you and you're going to provide absolute value. Just keep rinsing and repeating. 
Definitely. Absolutely. Keep on going. And as Rinse and repeat. With what's happening, the attention is more and more on virtual and online. Yes. And now that we have a bit more time, we've also got time to dedicate to marketing and putting and getting creative and putting posts together and engaging and commenting and liking. So this is the time, everybody, to go hard on social media, go hard on your marketing, continue to build your brand so that when we come out of this, yep. you're the person they think of. They are. And, and at the end of the day, in my world, I call that front of mind campaign, Definitely. which means when someone think of, oh, you know, who's the guy in HR again? Recruitment? Yep. Darren, Darren Saul here. Yep. Let me introduce you. Yep. And you've actually got your page set up so they can actually be tagged in. Just to let you know, guys, you have to set it so that you can have your page tagged. It's you to change the setting. It doesn't happen automatically. That's the best way to get recommendations. So how does that work? I didn't, how do you, what do you change on your So, you know, when, you know, when, um, say I go like on this post, I'm going to be going to my business page. I'm going to put, and I'm going to post, I'm going to at sign and start typing okay. your business page. Gotcha. If your business page has not, has not been set up to be able to be tagged. Oh, okay. It won't come up. I didn't and know I can't that. tell you how many businesses can't be tagged because you've got to go and change it manually. Yeah, generally. I, I noticed that myself. Is that on LinkedIn and Facebook? I don't know about LinkedIn, but definitely on Facebook. Ooh. LinkedIn is a whole different algorithm. In actual fact, LinkedIn is by far a better algorithm right. because they will show, so you go and give intention, you go and provide value, it will get shown to all your first um, connections. Oh, I see. It just, it'll, it'll show up. So versus in Facebook, it gets shown to no one. <laughs> but you just choose your platform. Gotcha. And choose you have, where you want to hang out. Do you have a preference as to which platforms you use or again, it just boils down to where your audience is? Um, I personally, I believe that, well, there's really, I mean, there's a top five, but you choose your five. You can't be on all five unless you've got a marketing department. That's my personal opinion. A lot of um, you know, so for me, because I've been on Facebook for so long, Facebook is a preference for me because I've built an audience there. Uh, Instagram working on that but this year my goal especially around the e-women network and networking side is going to be LinkedIn so I've literally been working on a campaign for the last month yeah. to ensure that I'm delivering what I'm meant to be delivering uh, on LinkedIn because you, you, you know what you post and this is what I see a lot of people do what they post on Facebook they then go and post on LinkedIn it is a uh, uh, yes. don't do it yes. each platform has a different meaning it has a different reason and you just got to choose. If Insta's your thing, just do Insta. You can have, you can sell from Instagram really easily without a shop. Yep, you can sell from you can sell from Twitter. You can sell from anywhere. It's just That's how it. you build that roadmap. How you build that little map. Totally. That journey. Yep. yep. Awesome. So, Brian, I want to talk a bit more about e women network as well because i'd love to hear more about this i'm still not sure what it is myself so i know it's a great hilarious what e women network wow. is well e women network is a uh it's a referral it, it is based on referral but it's also based on community and connection it's actually been in the us for 20 odd years they're okay. celebrating their 20th year okay. and in 2018 i was in this random group online women helping because <laughs> i don't want to say it's like three hundred sixty thousand in there now yep and this girl called tracy queen commented on a post and we connected and she connected with me and she said oh look i'd love to catch up on zoom and you know i'd come out of the back end of radiotherapy chemotherapy i'd re i was re reflecting and re-establishing who i was in that business space so i thought oh sure i'll have a chat got online and then she said oh have you heard of e-women network i went no and i went what and there's like over five hundred thousand people connected in the u.s and canada oh. and but they're connected very differently to what i i've never seen here in australia and so i got on a call and i met uh, sandra yancey who's the ceo and co-founder and also a lady called janelle mccauley and when they explained and i was invited to an online event which everything over there was all face to face right they have lunches and strategic business introductions and things like that. It's all strategic, right? You don't just hand a business card out and go, hello, 
him my cards. You know, it's way more than that. It's like, cool, how can I help you? So it was very much in alignment. And they are based on nine values, which when I heard them, I went, I found my tribe. Yeah. So I found more about it and randomly went, sure, let's just start a chapter in Australia. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, because there's plenty of networks here. We don't need any more. Yeah. But <laughs> what it does is that, so we, as E-Women Network Australia has been active for a year now and it's more around the intentional networking of like-minded people, um, especially for people who want to grow their business in the US and Canada. They're all connected, which means that they want to help you. They right. want to connect with you. And with the whole COVID-19, literally within 48 hours, the whole network, which has been on face-to-face -face for 20 years, it pivoted 48 hours and the entire network was online. Wow. Meaning we already had a portal. We can already connect people. But what they've done is uh, all the events are online now. So it means, for example, I'm down to an attend an event overnight tonight in Cincinnati. Wow. Amazing. And clearly I'm not going because wow. it's 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> right. But by registering, I can get the recording and I can hear the words of wisdom of, of an outstanding entrepreneur on, I just can't remember the topic, whatever the, to whatever the topic was, it's quite a valuable topic. So it just means there are like 1500 events a year. As we can all now being online, we can go to any event wow. in any country. So it's different to any other network because you've got people across the globe. The UK kicked off in January this year. And it's all about, you know, if you're looking to wanting to grow your network, make it meaning that you want to make lead generation, yep. no other way to put it, if you're wanting resources and connected with influencers, Sandra's one of the top 100 influencers in the entrepreneurial space wow. in the US. They know people. You're wanting those connections. You're wanting to grow that business. And then if you're wanting to make more money, that's what eWomen is all about. It's, it's intentional. It's not just, hi, oh, let's have a coffee and have a great day. And it's not just women, is it? It's everyone. No, it's for men and women. Look, ages ago, there was there was talk about trying to change the name, but it just didn't happen. So we call them E-Men. So in Australia, I think we've got four men already as members. It's more around, I believe, for me personally, it's the, it's the behaviour or it's the kind of person. When you, when you find that connection, let's go. And the meetings are quite structured or are they? Uh, they're actually trademarked right. in the way that they run. Uh, they are structured in some ways, but they're fluid in the fact that uh, the genuine connections come through. And I make sure as managing director, I, my job is to make sure I feel like I'm the conduit. So my job is to make sure you connect with the people you want to connect with. Right. Gotcha. So I go to my people over there and I go, cool, looking for someone in publishing or cool, looking for someone in podcasting. And on we go from there. Fantastic. Love it. And the meetings are on all the time or they have once they're a week? on they're generally on on a thursday right. via zoom so we've been online the whole time right. in australia because members are across the eastern seaboard um and you know they just go to ewomennetwork.com go and look for the australian chapter and you'll see where the events are and main thing is just you know otherwise just ask me i'll oh. I, I can put you in the right direction i can like you know invite someone along i think the best way i believe in business will stop is to demonstrate so I, I invite anybody who is, um, who is looking for that kind of connection, who would find it valuable, not for the people who are just going to go and, you know, throw their weight around or go and spray everyone, not with their marketing. No, it's for people who, who, ha who are genuinely here for the long haul, which is, yeah. I believe, something that COVID-19 is teaching us. Definitely. And people that want to build connections and give value one by one on one, one by one. And one time, time. as I said, you connected with all of those chapters now. There's 60 something chapters. There's 60 something managing directors. There's executive managing directors. There's a speakers network. There's a professional speakers network. There's a podcast chat. There's a whole oh. shebang um, that you, there's premier success coaches. There's people who connect, who can, you can connect with. So it's getting your message in as front as many people because they get it and they're more than happy to support you. That's, that's, I think the biggest thing is that they, they have your back. Okay. And the last question about that. So it's called eWomen Network Australia, but you're connecting yep. with the whole world. Is that right? Correct. Oh, okay. So I'm in, I'm managing director of the country uh, only because 
I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else wants to start a chapter? Please do. <laughs> it's not. It's bigger than me. I just. I just. I just happen to be the first person. That's all. Wow, okay. But you know, I, I'm just. A, yeah, as I said, the conduit between the US, the Canada, and Canada, okay. the UK, and here. I mean, they're looking at India. So it's. Wow. I had a lady from Zambia on our call two ah, weeks ago. Wow, well, it's amazing. Lady from Singapore. So it's. It is genuinely, it, it's for, it is a true international network. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to, I'm coming on a meeting soon. So you are, next week. Yes, I'm looking forward point. to it, yeah. So, Bron, um, it's been amazing to chat to you about uh, branding, marketing, your thoughts around organic, networking, and even the power of networking and networking yep. now, these days with, with the virtual world is huge. Yeah. And we should all access some kind of network. One hundred grow our tribe and grow, and grow our business because it's so yep. powerful and the technology is allowing us to do it even easier. And join more than one. Yeah, join. Like don't just just don't be in. That's what I personally believe is to be in more than one network because here it is. People know people know people. Absolutely, it's all about connect. Like the one the interesting thing is with all, everything moving online and virtual, it's also almost teaches you how strong how important it is to network with people and build relationships offline as well. One hundred percent. We get so tempted to just do everything online, but it actually works the other way. You have to marry. Totally the two agree. Together. If you marry the two together. That's where the power is. It is, and we will be having face to face. We were going to be actually starting in Brisbane in May, but clearly that's all been cancelled. It has to be. I definitely believe it's a combination yeah. between the on and the offline, um, because then you're getting you know your local connections, then you get your national connections, and then you get your international connections, and you know, like here in Port Macquarie, there's I think six or seven members already. Wow. And we live in a teeny weeny town. Yeah. We connect locally because yeah. we can. So it's, and like you, I know that with your networking, definitely got to be more than one. And it, it's, and it's because you just don't know who knows you because I might not be your customer and the person behind me might not be the customer, but it's going to be the person behind them is going to be the best referral partner you've yeah. ever met. Absolutely. But if you don't invest it in me, you're never going to meet. Never going to get there exactly. So you just never going to know them. where things lead. So you have to just. That's it. Go, it boils down to again, consistency, patience. Keep on doing what you got to do. Stick to the roadmap. Stick to the formula, and in yep. time, the results will come. Definitely. You just got to be patient. But anything you want to leave us um, before we oh. finish? Anything? Any nuggets of gold that come to you? I think the biggest one is to not quit. Okay. believe in you believe in your message because you know if you look into the, the night if you look into the star in the sky at night it's black and it's full of stars yep. there's always room for another star <laughs> I love that. I love that. all right and that's the business world there's no, always no, room but just to be consistent even when you think no one's watching because yep. people are lurking around they're watching so just to continue delivering your message even when you think no one is watching that's what i could say very true i love that because you just never know who's watching you never you know that one right person to watch at the right time and off you go voila right message right people right time exactly we'll tie it right back to your fantastic catchphrase mm. Mm. Uh, bron really appreciate you coming on the show i think that was extremely insightful and hopefully that will give people lots of value for this time when they're putting yep. their marketing together and thinking about you know, building their brand and growing their business and even just getting ready for when we come yeah. out of this. Mm. So thank you so much again. My pleasure. And My uh, pleasure. everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll be back uh, very, very soon for another episode. But until then, we'll see you soon.